In this video you will learn about different nanoforms of carbon and what they look like. We have graphene which is a layer of carbon atoms distributed in a hexagonal network. We have seen how a nanotube can be considered to be a graphene layer that rolls up in a cylinder. They can be a single cylinder or a number of concentric cylinders and we can find out the number of walls by counting the number of lines in an electron microscopy image. If we roll up the graphene like a scroll then we obtain a nano scroll. If you count the number of layers on each side of a tube in the microscopy image, for a scroll they often won't match. Another carbon nanoform is a nano horn. To visualize this we can cut a wedge in graphene and rebond it. The sheet deforms into a cornet or cone. Nanohorns have pentagons at the tip. In this example there is only one pentagon which is being marked in orange. Other forms with pentagons are the spherical forms of carbon, the fullerenes. There are different sizes but the most famous is C60, made from 60 carbon atoms, which has the same shape as a football. Different size fullerenes, one inside the other like Russian dolls, are known as onions because they resemble the vegetable in shape and number of layers. If nanocones are stacked on the top of each other, like ice cream cones, in the microscope they look like this, where the lines form a series of diagonal stripes. The image resembles a bit the skeleton of a fish, and this is why these structures are called herringbone nanotubes. By choosing an appropriate catalyst in the CVD, we can obtain nanocoils. This form, which could also have been called nanotelephone cords, is like a normal nanotube that for some unknown reason is coiled up during growth. When nitrogen is present during growth, tubes like these are obtained. They are multiple tubes where every now and then the inner tubes finish with almost flat caps. They might remind you of a stick of bamboo, and indeed they are called bamboo-like tubes. There are also carbon nanoforms which are a mixture. For example, it's possible to fill a carbon nanotube with fullerenes. These are called pea pods because the fullerenes are like peas inside a nanotube pod. Recently people have suggested the name of nanobuds for tubes which appear to have fullerenes or small sections of tube attached to their side, like a bud growing from the main stem of a plant. Another wacky name is nano wings, where a section of a nanotube wall is opened and the tube seems to have grown a pair of wings. These are just some of our favourite carbon nanoforms, but keep your eyes open for more.